Mm -hmm. Tom Dundon says there's no grand plan. There was no grand plan or revenge plan. What? With Kasperi Coffee, or sorry, uh, with Kasperi Coffee, Cockney Emmy. Uh, yes, Barry, Cockney Emmy. This is the weirdest thing ever. Do that they the think hurricanes that we... are still. Yeah. Listen, well, despite all the evidence. Yeah, I know he's getting yeah. asked about. Like, no, just... but Tom Dundon doesn't need to do interviews. Oh, that's but he's doing one. Oh, right. Tom Why? Dundon, no. But Tom Dundon needs to do interviews. He does it. Sell the hurricane. He does it, but he does. <laughs> he does. Sell me on this. All right. Sell me on this. Tell me. Yes. We did it for revenge, and also we like the player. I'd love to have Tom on the show. I'd love to know what was going on. This well, season. I wouldn't. He's not going to give us anything good, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What do you mean? He's a liar. I mean, he's not a liar. Right. That's P- well, maybe it's lying. I, I, maybe it is. Yeah, for PR sakes. Nobody gets hurt. But here's the thing. Like... You know, Sebastian Ajo, the context on this, if you don't know, is Montreal offer sheeted Sebastian Ajo last year. But his jersey number in the offer. And then and then of course that's what that's what Tom Dundon and Don Waddell did. Yeah. Yes. And then he's they, like, it had nothing to do with that. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> sell th- sell this, man. This is entertainment. It's not WWE. But that's part of it. It's fun to get the owners into it. I like that. Yes. Own it. Yes. They're like, hell yeah, it was revenge and we won. Like, do that. That's great. There's an answer. I want to be... I'm already excited for the first time the Habs play the Hurricanes. Oh, I hope it's in Montreal. Give me some more. Give me some more. It'd be... Okay, you can play this game, but maybe like a day or two, you know, before they come to town. Yeah, I did it for revenge and I'd do it again. Love that. Give me a little bit of that. Jeez, give me some sizzle. Sell it. You're the Hurricanes. Oh, a bunch of jerks. Except for... Well, well, no, no, no. Well, no, I would never. Except for when we... I would right. never. Except for when we might actually... It's very odd. It is odd. It's an odd answer. It's the. It's so weird and that they're dug in saying they didn't do this thing. They obviously did. <laughs> <laughs> do you... Now, I wonder honestly if they thought, well, I think the world would just accept that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm waiting for Tampa to be like, we didn't win the cup. Yeah. Oh, no. And, I, I'm waiting yes, for Tampa. Yes, you did. I, I would love for Tampa to be like, we took advantage of the rules with Kucherov. The rules are the rules. We we took advantage. That's something that, I don't know. It's it's not the spirit of the rules, but those are the rules. If Tom Dunnan was playing coy, like you could even deny it while being an asshole. Like be an asshole about it. Like like Lou does it. Lou Lamorello does it. I wouldn't say I wouldn't call Lou an asshole, but Lou does moves you're like, holy shit. And he looks at you with a straight face like, yes. And hmm. that's and, entertaining. And that's the shtick. Yes. yes. It's funny. It's funny. And like he does all these things that are you're like I did is that allowed is that even legal and he does it with a straight face and then his teams are good it's great what a great bit but like I don't know for the Hurricanes to uh, we're very fun oh no but we weren't trying to have fun in that yes you were yes in, you were tell in us in that interview he gave he also said he tried to call Jeff Molson. I believe, and then uh, Molson didn't pick up, and he hasn't been able to, to say what. Ha ha! I don't know, but just what, talk are you about apologize it. or what? what I don't. I don't know what the phone call. What would have happened on the phone call? But I believe the the it's in the athletic. It's with uh, Pierre LeBron, correct? Okay, uh, that's not the one I have. Oh, that's not the one. You I dropped have. like twenty five million on an XFL team. You should have got like a sky oh. writer in Montreal to make a middle finger. I forgot like, about that. The XFL. Yes, guys, we're this is sports. Entertain me. Entertain us. Just say you did the thing you did. The uh, that's yeah, not even like listen up, to yeah. how boring that is. Say you did the thing you did. I have it here with uh, Pierre LeBron, the Athletic. Tom Dundon speaks with him. He says, "I haven't talked to him." This is Jeff Molson. I'd be happy to, but I haven't talked to him about it. Uh, did he reach out to Molson? Yeah, I made a call, but I haven't talked to him though. Oh man! I asked. I'm jacked you right now. I asked the Hurricanes owner. However, I, this is why I want to interview Tom Dundon. <laughs> Cut a promo. Is it, why is he doing this interview in the Athletic? <laughs> I asked Hurricanes owner, however, if it at least helped to send a message to other teams about offer sheeting players. No, I mean it might be true that it happened, but it had nothing to do with the decision. But it was always strange to me that the Aho offer sheet happened in the first place. Right? Obviously, whatever the perception was about our organization or me when the first offer sheet happened was clearly inaccurate. And then he talks about losing Dougie Hamilton. He said, if we had to re-sign Dougie or 10 other things we tried to do, this doesn't come up. But uh, when you're sitting here with a bunch of cap space, 
and you're not going to be able to use and uh, that you're not going to be able to use and looking at your choices. We went through many, many choices. This just happened to be one that ended up being executed. There was no grand plan. We didn't set out to do this two years ago, even a month before or even a month before. There's lots of options to look at based on the order things happen. When this came up, this one actually worked. We could do lots of columns on the hundred ideas that didn't work or we didn't get to execute. Okay. But you did this one right. and put the contract or his his jersey number in the contract and Which did an entire yeah. <laughs> you, you did it a whole social media campaign that was basically mooning and flipping off the Montreal Canadians, but you didn't do it for revenge. I went I went somewhere the other day. What did where'd you go? Where did where did I go? Do you do you remember? I, I was talking about it. Leafs media. And I was, Leafs what? Leafs media day. Media day. Hmm. That is what I called it, isn't it? It is. Isn't that what it's called? No. Oh, it used to be. And what? I didn't know this. What is it now? Leafs marketing day. Oh, <laughs> that's what they call it. Check their YouTube page. I suppose oh, that's true. Boo. It says Leafs marketing day. I agree, boo. <laughs> but that's what it's for. Marketing! Market your team! You're the owner! We get to talk to you once every two years! Not Tom Dundon. Mm. Get him whatever you want. Get him... Oh. I don't under... Ugh. Okay. Be exciting! <laughs> for God's sake!